Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in this video I'm going to do a review of the Holy Bible New Living Translation Giant Print Edition with the filament app. I think you guys are going to really like this. This is the personal size Bible. It is not a note-taking Bible or a journaling Bible, but it is a really cool Bible that comes along with a cool app that I'll share with you in just a moment. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this Bible just came out January 12th of 2021 in this in this size, and it is the giant print, which means it is a 12 point font edition of the new uh, living translation that connects to uh, the filament app, which I think you guys would really are really going to like. The words of Jesus are in red. This is a lay flat Smithstone binding, and there is uh, it says a full color visual overview of the Bible. Now, this is real leather. <laughs> it smells amazing. It runs $69.99 as a retail price. And if I can find it on sale, of course, I will link up for you guys below. Uh, what's really awesome about the filament app is the filament app gives you like 25 thousand study notes it's got videos it's got maps it's got infographics it's got profiles it's got articles it's got devotion it's amazing so if you are wanting to kind of explore that i would encourage you to check out this bible so the bible itself let's go ahead and do some of the basics here um the trim size of this bible it says on the website 5.375 by eight and a half but i will just measure it for myself uh, yep, that's about right. And by, I'm measuring at eight and three quarters as opposed to eight and a half. In terms of centimeters, I'm measuring it at about 20, looks like 22 and a half centimeters long and about 14 and a half wide. In terms of the width, it measures in about one and a half and as centimeters, we're looking at about four centimeters. Beautiful, beautiful gold gilding here on the side. Love it. And genuine leather as we open it up. This Bible smells amazing, by the way. And let's just kind of go through it. It's got presented to you on the occasion of, so here's your dedication page. And then it has your giant print. Again, that's a 12 point font. That's pr plenty big for me. I can see it from over here, which is great because I know I need bifocals. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of an introduction to the New Living Translation. And then we go right into the Old Testament, into Genesis. And I'll show you how to use the app in just a minute. But I do want to kind of go through, there's no measurements to be made in terms of like journaling. I mean, if you're someone that likes to do micro journaling, which means you're going to try to do it in the little tiny spaces here, that would be like one centimeter. I mean, that's really what you're getting on the side. So <laughs> definitely not a journaling Bible. You want to pick something else up for that. Um, but yeah, it's nice size letters. I love the how big it is so I can actually see it. And let's look at the back as well. Okay, so, um, oh, so you do have, like I said earlier, uh, Jesus's words are going to be in red, so that's going to really help call that out to you, um, so that's nice. It does have a verse finder, so if you're looking about, if you want to learn a little bit more about what the Bible says about accountability, um, there's some topics here for you to look at, caring, compromise, I mean, really nice little index here. That's nice. A visual overview of the Bible introduction. So this is nice. It kind of gives you a little introduction to the Bible. That's nice. I like that. It's got some beautiful maps back here. Talks a little bit about the play, um, the plagues of Egypt, the twelve tribes of Israel. Love this basic stuff. This is nice. I would probably read this first before I get into the Bible. This is actually really good stuff here. The prophets. Very nice. I love that. Um, let's go ahead and do weigh it for those of you who might be carrying it with you in like a bag or a purse. Sometimes it's nice to know how much these things weigh. 
This Bible runs two pounds, 1.95. So about two, two pounds, two ounces is what I would call it at. But yeah, it's a really beautiful Bible. It has one bookmark that matches it, a little brown bookmark. And really it's just a nice little beautiful Bible. It smells wonderful with the leather. Very high quality Bible. It would be great for a gift for someone. Father's Day, graduation, stuff like that. Love it. Okay, let's check out this app. So this is the filament app. And it says, um, basically when you get started, it says you have two choices. I'm just checking out the filament app or I have the full Bible. So I'm gonna go ahead and say connect now. I have the full Bible. It says, great, find this icon on the title page in the front of your Bible. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that icon and, it, and click the button that says, got it. Click here to scan. I'm gonna allow access to my camera and it's gonna go ahead and scan for me. So now it knows which Bible I'm using and it can be, I can be right on this, the correct app that has the correct page and we'll be all good with that, okay? As you go through it, you can give, you can do the tutorial if you want to. I'm not gonna go through the tutorial, but you can. It says, turn to page 1534 in your in your filament Bible. It's gonna actually make me go through it. Are you really gonna make me go through this or can I just skip? I'm hoping I can just skip. I just hit the camera button to see if I can just skip. So what I'm trying to do is line up, oh, it, it actually came in pretty quickly. It says, it looks like you scanned page 111. Oh, please scan page one five three four instead okay it's going to make me go through the entire tutorial so we'll just do the tutorial together <laughs> one five three four all right No, what's going on? It says it looks like you scanned page 915, but I didn't. Ah, very good. Okay, well, if you get an error, just back out and try again. It says tap go to confirm page 131534. So I'm gonna click go. And it says now you're ready to experience all that filament has to offer. It says I'm ready to go. Click here to explore on your own or I want to learn more. So I'm just gonna click here because I'm ready to go. I don't wanna. I don't want to do, <laughs> I don't want to do anything um, that it tells me to do. I don't want a tutorial. So basically what we have here is it tells you which pages you're on. You're in page 1534, page 1535. If I click the arrow that points this way, I just go to the next page. So it's easy to kind of navigate this. Okay, there are three different boxes here. One says study, one says reflect, one says see. If I click the word study, it's going to give me some study um, notes here just like you would find at the bottom of a study Bible, which is amazing. Study Bibles can be very, very expensive, so the ability to have it in an app like this is awesome. You can just take your Bible, scan in the app, get your study notes, you're good to go. There's some other marks here. You have one that has like a book overview. You have one um, that looks like people, which tell you some of the main characters in Luke. And then you have one that looks like location. Um, it looks like these are just extra studies. So maybe devotions, I'm thinking, let's see. Ah, they're called themes. So this tells you a little bit more about, uh, this one is the Passover. If I wanna learn more about baptism, it kind of gives you some history there. That's nice. So you have your study notes, you have your overview, you have your people, and then you have your themes. And so that's how this is set up from a study perspective, okay? From a reflection perspective, there are some of these, looks like little devotions here. So for reflection, you can read the devotion. Tells you where it's from and who wrote it, that's nice. That's cool. So we have just like little devotions you can do as well. That's nice to do some reflection. And then the C, we're gonna be able to see some interactive maps. So here's an interactive map here. 
that shows um, the places Jesus went during his life on earth. So directly correlating with the chapters in the book, um, book of Luke that we're working with. That's nice. Always fun to check out these maps. And they're right here. So you don't ever have to go. I mean, when I do a Bible study, I have multiple books. Like I have my Bible. I have my Bible study. I have my study Bible. I have commentary. I have strong concordance. I have all kinds of things. So to have a lot of these things right here for you, very, very convenient. It's worth it to get one of these Bibles, even if you don't get the one that's $69. Maybe you can find one that's a lower price or maybe get a used one and then be able to have this. I definitely think that is, I mean, this, I'm, I'm giving this one away um, on, during our conference this year. So if you want to know, know more about the conference, make sure you're subscribed to our channel because we will be giving um, out announcements about the conference as it comes close to October, which is when I think that is scheduled. Um, and then, yeah, that we're giving away a lot of stuff during that conference. And it's a free conference. It's a Bible journaling conference. We have a lot of great speakers. It'll be really fun. So just go ahead and subscribe just so you don't get it. Um, you don't feel like we left you out <laughs> when it happens. So you don't want to miss it. Um, other things you can see, there's a video here about the Gospel of Luke. Looks like from the Bible Project. I love the Bible Projects. They have the Bible Project. They have really awesome videos. So it looks like there's some, looks like there's an illustration, some videos. There's an infographic here. If you want to check out the infographic, it'll come up here and show you in a little bit more. And then there's information below as well. So there's quite a bit in the Filament app. I really do like it. And to, again, to use it, let's just pick a different page. You just take the little camera at the top and then kind of line up the little um, the little diamonds. And if the diamond doesn't, if, if when you line up the diamond, it doesn't give you the right one, like this says page 1616, just back out and try again. There we go, 1658, that's the one I want. <laughs> and then I have, again, my study, my reflect, and C. So, I just want to thank Lonnie for letting me use his phone because it's hard to show you guys the app on my phone when I'm trying to record it. So I was really glad Lonnie let me use his phone today to show you. But all in all, I think this is a really nice, nice Bible along with the app. It's pretty, pretty cool. And, you know, I'm giving this one away, but I'm definitely going to get one. <laughs> I'm definitely going to add one to mine. Mine might be used. The new one. <laughs> oops. <laughs> the new one is going to go to the winner at our conference. So I hope that you guys will join us then. Make sure that you're subscribed to our email list. I'll make sure I have a link below, the one that says where you can get all the freebies. We will definitely be making announcements about an upcoming conference, but that's later down the year, down the road. So if you don't want to wait, feel free to pick this one up now. <laughs> you can get it now. You don't have to wait. If you win it at the conference, uh, you can just send Tendell a thank you and then go ahead and pass on, pass it on to someone, wrap it up as a gift or something. So I hope this review was helpful. Please give us a thumbs up. You have a wonderful day. Goodbye.